thought I'd won an argument with my wife on how to arrange the dining room furniture. But when I got home, the tables were turned. Oh, oh no, don't forget, comment your jokes down below. Right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. Have you ever been looking for a movie or a TV show and you're thinking, where is it? Can't find it. You end up spending more time finding it than it would to watch it. But this app pretty much solves all of that. So I'm going to show you quickly now. So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so I'm not going to waste too much of your time, but what I will ask is do comment down below. Do you use any of these kind of apps? And also, would you find them useful? Right, so if I just chuck me down here, I'm currently using the Fire Stick 4K Max. But this is going to work on any Amazon or Android TV device. And it's also got an app for mobile. If I go across, it's called Real Good. Now, previously, I did a video on something called Just Watch, and a lot of you let me know how much better Real Good is. And the main thing that jumps out at me with this sort of app is something I've been experiencing personally. So the other day, Christmas is coming up, I wanted to watch The Grinch. And I looked on Netflix, I looked on Disney+, Plus, Apple TV, Prime Video. And I just couldn't find it anywhere. Whereas if I had an app like this, I could just click up to search there. Simply type in the movie it is that you're looking for. So Grinch... And once you've typed that in, you can click on next. And I would have found out, as you can see in the top right hand corner of that image, it says Now TV. You can click on it. You can play now on Now TV. And it says where else you can watch that movie or TV show you're looking for. At the moment in the UK, it's only available on Now TV, which I think's a bit... Well, it's bullshit, to be honest, isn't it? But that's the only place to currently watch it. Now, another example was around Halloween. We wanted to watch Beetlejuice. So if I clear that off on the search, and I search for Beetlejuice, I'm just going to put Beetle and click on back. I can't be bothered to type it all. But it says rent or buy. If I go down to where to watch, there's nothing I can use that I'm subscribed to. I can click on that. It tells me I can buy it from Prime Video. Chili? Is that chili? I've never heard of that one. Rakuten, one I don't know how to pronounce, and then Sky. So it's a very useful app for if you're wanting to watch something and you don't know which app to find it in. Another reason this app can be useful is just to find content that's trending across all different apps. Or if you're looking for new things to watch, you've got some stuff at the top that's featured here. Top 10 this week, you see that's on Disney+, Plus, that's on Prime Video, that's on Netflix... Somebody did say The Unforgivable is definitely worth a watch. Let me know in the comments section down below if that's true. You've got popular movies underneath. That on Now TV. You've got Finch on Apple TV. The Grinch on Now TV and so on. So it's a good way of finding new content as well. Now this app is free to use. There is a premium subscription as well I think but... I'm just using the free one. I've not even set up an account. If you do set up an account for this app... If you go to your list, you will be able to set different things in your TV shows and movies and that. But at the moment, I just press skip for now, so I haven't currently got an account. And then you've got TV shows and movies specifically, if you wanted to search that sort of stuff. Now, like I said, I'm in the UK, and we've got different subscription services to such as the US. Or we may have limited content as opposed to in the US. So I will show you in a moment when we install it how you can set it up for your region. But if you all wanted to change it quickly, you can go to settings, go down and across to country, says United Kingdom there, click on that. I can change that to America. When I select America, it's going to change it over. I'm going to click on done. And then it's going to show me the additional services that are available in the US. I didn't get a lot of these options when I was using the UK one. And something that did surprise me was, if I go back to search, and I search for Grinch once again, or The Grinch, click on back, got rent or buy there. If I go down, you can actually watch it on Peacock and on Freeform. Now, I'm not sure... If these are free to watch, but do let me know in the comments section down below. Now, I did do a video recently on how much it costs for every streaming subscription in the UK. And I think it's an absolute joke. And I'll put a link to that at the end of the video. So how do you get the Real Good app on your device? It's very simple. We're going to go to Find on an Amazon device. If you're using an Android TV device, you'll just be able to go to the Google Store. Same for mobile as well. 
and then click on search and then we'll just start typing in real good as you can see it comes up underneath there and there you go if you are struggling to find it with the search you can do streaming guide and then it comes up there you can see just watch next to it but a lot of people did prefer the real good app simply click on that download and install but because i've already installed it it's just going to launch the app once it starts launching we're going to click on next next again and then you can log in or get started i'm going to click on get started so i'm going to tick off some of these which i've got even some that i haven't got just to see if it's showing on those and then in the bottom right hand corner click on done and then i'm going to click on skip for now and then it's going to load up exact as i've just done it and another thing is as well when you're scrolling through if you want to watch something obviously we're coming here it tells you a bit about it a lot of the apps allow you to click on it and it'll open inside the app that it's available on the only problem is is i found with such as prime video and that it doesn't seem to work so i'm just really using this as a way to find new content and mainly to find out if i want to watch something which streaming service i can watch it on and then if in the future you want to add or remove any subscriptions we can go to the right edit services and they can take off whatever you want and you can also add others to it click on done and that's it now i know that video may not appeal to everybody but i found it to be pretty useful and i think a lot of you will find it useful as well and that's why i made the video do comment down below your thoughts and opinions of it is it something you'd use is it something you'd find useful or is it something you find pointless and you'd never use right so that being said i hope you enjoy the rest of your day don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and i'll see you soon Tere. Right, so hello again, everybody, and well, I don't know where I'm looking there. I was looking for my microphone. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, what's that? Right, so I'm not gonna waste too much of your time, but well, I will, well, I will, well, we will, well, 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 well. Android TV device, and it's also got an, an, an <laughs> someone said that unforgive, but um, <laughs> what's that? As you can see, it comes up there. Next to it is the Just Watch. But like I said, a lot of people preferred. <laughs> I'm going to click on some subs. <laughs> I'm going to click on some sub. Some sub. I can't say that. Some subscription. I'm going to click on some subscription. <laughs> <laughs>